If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon for more videos. Peace out, guys. Hey guys, I'm Mikey Miller back here for the video, guys. Today I'm going to talk about the three goats, which one you should pick, the three new goats, which one you should pick. And with that in mind, let's get right into it. So guys, if you head over to GameStop, you can actually download for 20 bucks. you can get a code that gives you an option of one of three goats. Randy Moss, Ronnie Lott, and Bo Jackson. Now sadly, Bo Jackson is not on my head, so I will have to use uh, Barry Sanders. But you guys will see what I'm kind of talking about with that in mind. So starting off right away, one of the three goats is Randy Moss. 87 speed, 83 catching, 80 catching traffic, 88 spec catch, 83 route running, 82 uh, release. And of course, if you max him out, it's just, you know, chemistry because he has no other uh, team. He has no other chemistry other than team chemistry. With that in mind, very nice card. Next card we have here is going to be Ronnie Lott at 83 speed, 71 man, 80 zone, 77 press, 75 block shed, 82 pursuit. 81 tackle and 84 hit power again definitely a nice card and now Bo Jackson I'm kind of using Barry for this example but what Bell will pretty much be like is imagine Barry probably with 87 speed and probably about like 87 88 trucking so just a little bit better trucking and a little bit faster than Barry most likely with that in mind though who, which one should you pick? One thing, I'm just going to start off by saying I do not recommend getting this. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth 20 bucks for one non-ultra one tradable elite. Uh, you guys do not know. It's one non-ultra one tradable uh, goat. It's, uh, I believe it's uh, one offense and one defensive gold uh, non-ultra one tradable. And you get a coach and you get some uniforms. I don't think it's worth it at all. It doesn't include everything that the goat list, I mean, not the goat list, the goat edition comes with uh, for the extra 20 bucks. So I don't recommend getting it, but if you do, which one should you get? Well, my opinion is going to be, and it's going to be kind of like the whole Ray Lewis thing, it's going to be Ronnie Lott. And again, it's not that I'm just a completely defensive minded person. I do love defense, and that's one of my favorite sides of the ball. But the fact of the matter is, Randy Moss is great. Don't get me wrong. He's a very great receiver. And, you know, this card is not going to be... It's kind of like a misleading of Randy Moss. He's going to have 83 catching, 80 catching traffic. He's not... I mean, 88 spec catch is amazing. Don't get me wrong. He's going to catch those, you know, between one-on-one -on -one coverage. But based on what I'm seeing Madden 18 so far, it doesn't look like the aggressive catch is something that's important this year. And if it's not, and it honestly, if, you know, the aggressive catching is, you know, not as a big deal, you don't, then Randy Moss is kind of pointless. I mean, I get it. Yes, he's going to catch a lot of the one-on-one -on -one matchups, but if it's a safety in a corner, if it's, you know, aggressive catching and that kind of stuff isn't crazy, and it's all about, you know, random animations, then Randy Moss is not going to be that crazy. Ronnie Lott's going to help you out in the run game. He's going to help you out in the passing game. He's going to help you out all around the field. And he can even be used with 70 catching. You're going to catch an interception most of the time. So with that in mind, my opinion is Ronnie Lott's the best player to go with. You guys can tell me down below if you do go ahead and buy this. Which player are you going with? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.